If they're keeping Sable in that base, I bet they have those stolen humanitarian supplies in those other bases. I should call David about this. Hello. Hi, David. It's Spider-Man. I think I may have found those humanitarian supplies bound for Simcaria. Great. Can you send me the locations? Well, there's just one wrinkle. They're in heavily fortified bases guarded by bionic madmen with futuristic weapons and impenetrable armor. That is quite a wrinkle. Why don't I scope out their hideouts first and get back to you? Thank you, Spider-Man. I greatly appreciate all your help. Time to check in with... Are you okay? I saw people posting pictures of you and Hammerhead and Sable and... And Black Cat. Normally she brings bad luck, but not this time. I knew she was still alive. What was she doing there? Saving my skin. And giving me a lead on Hammerhead's hideouts. Turns out he's been stashing all of the stolen Sable tech underground. What? How? I'm on my way to find out, and hopefully rescue Sable, if she's still alive. Listen, I've been digging into this Simcaria thing. It's a big story. Something I feel like I need to be a part of. My boss agrees. Wait, you're going to Simcaria? When? Tonight. It's a rapidly developing situation. You and Sable can take care of Hammerhead. You don't need me. Just because I don't need you doesn't mean I don't need you. That's sweet. But listen... Other countries are ignoring this crisis, including ours. These people are helpless, all alone in the middle of a war zone. If I document what's happening and share it with the rest of the world, it might change things. Maybe even save lives. Spoken like a true hero. But the thought of you heading into a war zone, it worries me. Do you trust me? You know I do. Then we're good. I gotta go home and pack. I'll call you tomorrow when I get there. I love you. I love you too. Ugh, I miss her already. All units, a truck with stable ordnance has been... The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Underground. Guess it's time for some urban spelunking. Ugh, that's a new smell. Yuck. Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. Hello! This is so cool. Whoa, look at this place. The amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. Okay, let's see where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. Nice. Okay, onward. Hammerheads, guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. Hey, you wanna know what I've been thinking? Not really. I was thinking, we need an insurance policy. For what? The boss said once we take over this Sable, I'm just not sure how many more of these people fit down. What many? Hours? Yeah. It's only a matter of time before the city finds out how we're beaching off the subway. Space. 
I mean, we just got out of I knew how to fix it. Then why don't you shut up and let me work? What the? Yeah, better investigate. on your perspective. My kid, I'm a hero. Yeah, I guess. See? We're all heroes. Just in different ways. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, let me look at this some more. See if I can... Got it. Take a break. You earned it. Okay, that's all of them. Now, I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Wires lead into that tunnel, but that train is blocking it. <clears throat> nice. Okay, follow the yellow wire. Ah, tunnel's blocked, but I think I can still squeeze through. Was it? Don't remember his name. Sal's cousin, I think. Was it messy? Nah. Hey, who's there? Gotta do this quick and then find Sable. Project Olympus. These pods require... I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out. Now that's what I like to hear.
I should have a look around, see what I can learn. That cop almost killed me. I thought you said I'd be indestructible. I said almost indestructible. After all, you're still human. Then make me less human. I'm... I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. No sign of Sable. And I really don't want to check those body bags. Maybe there's still some tunnel I missed. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. All this stuff belongs to Sable? Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. XRT-89, Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? <laughs> I'm sticking with Dig Boy. Wow, if Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. Sounds like she's close. There! The only way out is through. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. Ah! Every minute I am here is another nail in your coffin. <laughs> you got spirit. I like it. I will never give you what you want. back for me. Why? Because I need you. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. You think you know, but you do not know. What can I do to make you trust me? 
Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Damn it! He let her loose! Okay, here's the plan. Good plan. You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? There are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to... Heat. I have an idea. I, uh, solemnly swear to, uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Ow. But, yeah. Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report? Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Now, what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places. I think I'm close to another crime scene. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say, 
You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean this guy. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day? I guess it starts with waking up. Checking my phone, see who the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, and dinner, and I... Sorry, uh... Can you go back for a moment? What does... do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Get quite the resume. <laughs> This guy sounds like a Magia Enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. I should be close. setting up these scenes really likes the color yellow. Another crime report. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> you're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you. And I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay, then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're going to do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. 
We probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Oh. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Ugh. Logic takes the fun out of everything. in about an incident in Midtown involving, you guessed it, Spider-Man. It's the same old story, same old menace. But here's a terrifying little wrinkle. My sources tell me that the Marcia Prime Boss Hammerhead is now gone, and I quote, full cyborg. First we have robotic octopuses, and now a mecked up Magia? Ugh, whatever happened to the good old days when- Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident. But was it? On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... Yeah. Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And... Who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Gotta be somewhere nearby. Another setup for me. Another file and recorder. I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. That gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these. And yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded.
closer. Oops, sorry. I hope whoever's leaving these has a good reason. There's a report and recorder. Watch it. I think there was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But... I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. I think I'm close. And there's the trademark yellow. The recorder must be around here somewhere. I remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally, but the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. On the last one, Yuri sounded frustrated. You have no idea. That's it? Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but when is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, maybe, though. Oh, no. Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations. I'm getting close. It has to be Yuri who's leaving all this stuff. I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. These case files are getting more and more recent. This one happened just a few weeks ago. 
You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, you're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a wire? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? We catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer. He gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. I think I'm close to the last crime scene location. Yuri's been here. Now where's the file? Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are on me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri's suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi. Can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Don. Who's that you were just talking to? Oh. Hey. No. Oh, why did I listen to that? Call from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. Yuri? Meet me at the corner of Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! Ah, she's gone. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene tour? She must have a lead on this Enforcer guy. It'll be nice to see her. Maybe help her deal with whatever she's dealing with. 